broadband. Broadband is simply any high speed, always on internet connection. It's different ways that you can connect from your home or your small office to the internet. And there's three main technologies that we use today. There's a cable system, DSL, and wireless. When we're talking about the cable system, the cable system uses a coax cable, just as some of your TVs would use in order to receive the TV programming. Um, the more modern technology of that is actually something called HFC, hybrid fiber coaxial, and it's a combination of your coax cable with an optical fiber component. With coax, or with the cable system, your upload and download speeds are different. Your upload speeds are slower than your download speeds, and it's a shared medium. So that means if there's a whole bunch of people subscribing to this cable um, internet connection and there's a lot of people using it at the, at the time, then your, your signal could be degraded and there's, your congest there's congestion. So there's contention for data, so it could slow down your connection a bit. Um, there's a body of knowledge called DOCSIS, Data Over Cable Service Interface Specification, and it's an international standard that outlines the layer one and the layer two stuff for all of your cable communication. Now DSL, different than a cable communication, your DSL stands for Digital Subscriber Line, and it's what connects you to your phone company if you're going to get your internet connection for your phone company. It transmits your data over copper wires. Now the difference between DSL and, and your cable, um, aside from the medium that it's sent over, is that um, DSL is a dedicated line, so the speed that you're promised is the speed that you get. You're not sharing that medium with anybody else. So even if it's a busy time, that shouldn't affect your, your throughput rates. Um, DSL, is distance sensitive. The distance that DSL works is only 5.5 kilometers. After that point, you need a repeater in order to strengthen the signal again. There's two different types of ADSL, asymmetric or ADSL, which means if something's not symmetric, it's different on both sides, right? So ADSL means it's got slower upload rates and faster download rates. The alternative to that is SDSL, which is symmetric, DSL, so that means the upload and download rates are the same. So we had cable, we had DSL. One way I like to think of DSL is I think of the D in DSL for dial because you dial a phone, so that always reminds me that that's the one that goes through your, your phone company. Anyways, the third is wireless communication. Now there's, there's different types of wireless communications. There's satellite internet which is great if you're in a rural area and you don't have access to any other type of, of internet connection, but satellite communication tends to be expensive, so you don't use it unless you need to. Um, other than satellite communication, there's municipal Wi-Fi, which is um, the wireless communication that the IEEE governs, so IEEE 802.11, if you've heard of that before, there's different variations. There's A, there's B, there's G, there's AC. And all of these variations do is just outline different details of the wireless technology that's being used. For example, the bandwidth or the frequency or the data rates that are being used, that's what's different between A and B and G. As technology advances, the IEEE comes up with with faster and better ways to communicate, so that's when you come up with a new letter. So A would have been before B. It's not necessarily in alphabetical order, but that's why there's so many different IEEE 802.11 standards, is just as technology advances, they come up with newer and better ways to communicate through Wi-Fi. Now another way to communicate wirelessly is through a technology called WiMAX, and it's very similar to Wi-Fi, but it's bigger and it encompasses more. There's more users, there's further distances and higher speeds of transmission. Finally, there's cellular or mobile transmission or wireless communication. It's internet access through your cell phone. The most recent type or current technology being used through 
your mobile technologies is LTE.